Hello, I welcome you all. <coughs> the, the problem reads, uh, both pul pulleys are fixed uh, to the shaft uh, and as uh, the shaft turns uh, with a, a constant veloc angular velocity, uh, the power of pulley A is transmitted to uh, pulley B. Uh, determine the horizontal uh, tension T in the belt on pulley B and the X, Y, Z components of uh, reaction at the journal bearing C and the thrust bearing D if uh, theta is equal to 45 degrees. The bearings are in pro proper alignment and exert only force reactions on the shaft. Alright, this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, textbook. Uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. <coughs> okay, so we have uh, a system of uh, pulleys uh, that are fixed to the shaft and uh, pulley A, um, uh, the power of pulley A is transmitted to pulley B. So we have been asked to find the tension T uh, in uh, the belt of uh, pulley B and uh, the X, Y, Z components of uh, the reaction at the journal bearing and um, thrust bearing D. Okay, so let's draw the free body diagram to start with. So we have uh, the journal bearing C. So we expect uh, a reaction uh, in uh, this direction. Okay, positive, we're calling it CY. And uh, we expect another reaction in, th in this direction. And we are calling it uh, CZ. And um, we are not going to have any reaction along the x axis for the journal bearing. Uh, for the thrust bearing, we expect a reaction in this direction. We are calling DY. And then another reaction in this direction, we are calling DZ. And uh, another reaction in this direction that we are calling <coughs> dx. Okay. Right. So we are done with all the reactions that we expect. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium up quickly. So summation of forces in the x direction. Uh, we have uh, dx. Okay. Uh, and uh, we don't have any force in that direction, therefore this is equal to zero. Then we have summation of forces in the y direction. What we have, we have a uh, dz uh, plus we have a uh, cz, I mean, sorry, we are in the y direction, not z. We have a uh, dy, okay, plus uh, cy and uh, we have two components from here. Uh, we're going to have two components from, uh, uh, we have uh, from uh, the 50 Newton. So we have uh, one component. We have a component and another component in this direction. Let me use red. Okay, so we expect one component from there like so and another component like there. So this one is going to be equal to 50. This angle here, I've been told is, uh, this theta here is equal to uh, 45 degrees. Therefore, this is going to be 50 uh, cos 45. Then this one is 50 sine 45. Right. So we have a uh, plus uh, 50 uh, sine 45. No, we are in the y direction, right? Sorry, 15 cos 45. And then we have a uh, t plus t. What else? Uh, I think that's about it. Therefore, this is equal to zero. 
right and then summation of forces in the z direction uh, what do we have we have a uh, dz uh, plus cz uh, plus uh, 50 uh, sine uh, 45 what else we have a uh, minus 65 then we have a minus 80 equal to 0 okay then summation of moments about the x-axis what do we have about the x-axis we have um, we expect uh, uh, a negative moment from the 50 newton uh, so this will be minus 50 by uh, the radius of uh, pulley B, which is 150, so convert it to meters, so 0 0.15. Um, and then we we'll expect uh, a positive moment from T, which is uh, T, T by 0.15. Then we expect uh, we expect a negative moment from 80 uh, so 80 by 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.80 that's uh, 0. 0.08 right mm -hmm. that's 80 millimeters right and then we have a plus uh, 65 by 0. 0.08 meters right do we have anything else i think that's about it this is about it about the x-axis do we have anything else no so this is going to be equal to zero so we can calculate t immediately from this equation so we have a minus 15 by 0.15 minus 80 by 0.08 and then we have plus 65 by 0 0.08 okay and then divided by 1.5 so we have t equal to 58 58 watt newtons let me just calculate again 50 by 0 0.15 minus 80 by 0 0.08 plus 65 by 0 0.08 mm -hmm. then divided by 0.15 58 right so found what t is so also work out the summation of moments about the y direction uh, where is y there we go so um, along the y um we have 50 that is going to 50 sign uh, 50 sign uh, uh, 45 is going to cause a negative moment so it will be 50 uh, sine 50 sine 45 and what's the lever arm lever arm is 200 millimeters so 0 0.2 mm -hmm. which are the force uh, of course we have again cz is going to be negative cz by uh, 300 plus 200 plus 250 that's 750 right mm -hmm. So it's 0 0.75, right? Which other one? Okay, the 65 and the 80 also cause the moments and they'll be both positive. So this will be plus uh, 65 by once a lever arm, that's a 4, 4, 450, which is a 0. Point Four five. Okay, and then plus eighty by point four five. Do we have anything else? Uh, uh nothing. So this is going to be equal to zero. So we can calculate C Z immediately. Right. So we have minus fifty sine forty five point two minus point two by fifty sine forty five. Mm -hmm. plus 65 by 4.45 4, 
plus eight by point four five. Okay, there we go. Then divided by point seven five. So we have C Z equal to seven seven point five seven newtons. Let me just repeat it again. Minus point two by fifty sine forty five. Uh, plus 65 by 0.45 plus 80 by 0.45 uh, divided by 0 0.75 77.57 7 right so we have cz so let's find the summation of moments about the z axis do you have anything about the z axis mm -hmm. we do have uh, we do have so one of the forces will be it is going to cause uh, it is going to cause a, a positive moment 50 cos so we have a 50 cos 45 I'm using uh, right hand thumb rule times the lever arm which is 0 0.2 mm -hmm. which other one cy CY also is going to cause a positive moment, so it will be CY by uh, 0.7, right? Mm -hmm. Point, 0.7, okay, 0.75. Do you have anything else? Uh, we do have. Um, we do have T. T is also going to cause a positive moment. So T by uh, by point two. Uh, we already found what T is, right? And uh, I think that's about it. These are the only ones, and then we can find what C Y is, right? So let's calculate it. So we have 0 0.2 times 15 cos 45 uh, plus 58 times 0 0.2 and then divided by 0 0.75. So we have CY is going to be negative 24.89. Right, so we have uh, CZ, CY, we have T. Let's calculate what D is. Okay, let me just repeat CY again 0 0.2 by 50 cos 45 uh, plus 58 by 0 0.2 divided by 0.75 or 24.89. So 24.89, we are now calculating. Uh, dy I'm using this equation here okay so 24.89 okay 24. Uh, what is it so it's minus we found the minus there so I'll enter it the way it is so I'll say minus 24.89 uh, plus 15 cos 45 plus 58 what do we get we get our dy so from here once we do the calculation from here our dy is going to be equal to our dy will be equal to uh, 68.47 newtons all right have we found everything dy dz okay let's find dz from this equation this equation here all right let's find dz so what do we have we have cz already which is a 77.57 57 plus 50 sine 45 minus 65 minus 80 so we have dz uh, dz 
dz um dz is equal to positive 32.07 newtons i guess we are done with everything right we found dz we found dy dx is yes, zero cy mm -hmm, and cz mm -hmm. so we found everything else right so there we are so we have uh, our t okay which is here found t uh we found d our uh, dx okay we found our cz right we found our cy uh we found our dz uh we found our dy okay I guess uh, we are done and I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, share my video. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.